Hello, we've got Lisa J in the house. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. Top of the morning, she says. So Top very of the good. Morning thanks, to for, you. thanks for joining us. And we're going to make uh, an Irish coffee this morning. Mm -hmm. Might make two. And uh, we'll just see. <laughs> she says, let's get drunk. <laughs> no, <laughs> I got to go to work. It tomorrow, tomorrow so yeah. we won't be doing that but we are going to have some irish coffees yeah <clears throat> so kind of the weird time for us but we thought what better way to celebrate saint patrick's day than mm -hmm. an irish coffee i love irish coffee yes it is one of my favorite kind of mixed drinks if you will all right we're in uh <clears throat> terrible i i haven't read andy's <laughs> message yet so we're I, just, uh -oh. I probably shouldn't have put it up on the screen <clears throat> uh this doesn't look like sunday church surface mom is going to be mad i told her i was going to church today too late now i guess uh happy irish drinking day everyone yes and yeah. you, this is the church of walt praise jesus and have an irish coffee that's right so there you go there hallelujah we go. And amen. And there's Ronnie C. Good morning to yes. you, Ronnie. Gonna Good join morning, us for Ronnie. some Irish coffee this morning. Walt's gonna make his little specialty. Yeah, and uh, Ronnie's saying hi to everybody. And then Andy says, Tina's looking good and green, and Walt <laughs> looking like Walt. Well, that's good. <laughs> and there's Marco. Marco. And I'm not even gonna try your last name, Marco. But <laughs> he says, "Ciao, for Italy." Oh, nice! My favorite YouTubers. Woo! Yeah. That's so cool. Thanks, Thank Marco. You. And uh, so that's that's cool. So first thing we'll do, since we got about six people, those people that come in late, they can watch this because we're not gonna be on that long. And uh, so let me get the hot water. We're coming to you from our kitchen this morning yeah <laughs> not the studio and the first thing you want to do is you want to pour hot water into your cups and of course we have the frontiersman cups i don't i don't think you can read right. that because there's such a glare we're sitting in our kitchen this morning and the sunlight comes through this window big time <laughs> but these are toddy glasses so Get you some hot toddy glasses. Maybe I should get those made and we can, you know, give those to people. So we'll first put those in the hot toddy glass. Put some hot, hot water in the hot toddy glass. Hot. And we'll set this aside. Hey, Steve. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. We're going to do some Irish coffee this morning. There's Steve. <laughs> Good morning, Steve. And uh, so we've got the hot water in there. You just want to start get warming up the glass. And then you're going to get rid of the hot water. And Tina's going to get the coffee in just a minute. So we're going to get rid of this. Just get those glasses hot. Gotta reach around behind us here. And then I'm gonna set this hot water back here. And then and then you want to take uh some brown sugar, brown sugar, just a couple teaspoons, but and there's Scott. Good morning, Scott and Terry. How are you guys? <laughs> Lisa says she's doing some green for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Scott says, good morning. Christy and Scott is there. Hi, Christy. And there's Terry. Good to see him. Uh, he got to hang out with Dice recently, so I'm je jealous of that. <laughs> and uh, so, but anyway, this is, this is cool. So we got the glasses hot with some water. Now we put in the, I don't know what a teaspoon is. But really, it's just the right amount. <laughs> if you like brown sugar, just get and you like it a lot, the right amount. You put so, what you want. Because I don't know what you like. Right. Now we're going to put a little bit of coffee in here, 
just to cover up the brown sugar. So I just put a little bit of coffee in there just to cover up the brown sugar. And then we're going to give this a, a proper stir. A proper stir. So we're going to stir that up. So if you guys are a little bit late, look how that, that's nice. Stirring up that brown sugar in the bottom of this coffee. That's going to give a nice sweet. And that's one reason you want to have those uh, mugs hot. They're nice and steamy. And then the next thing is going to come the Irish whiskey. Now, my favorite is probably not your favorite. I'm not using Jameson. Really, my favorite Irish whiskey is Slain, which is a triple cask Irish whiskey. I think it's in uh, virgin oak, seasoned, and sherry. Uh, so three different casks. And it just tastes good. Yeah. So it, it I can sip this. Uh, so we're going to put unless a shot, about a shot of this in here. So a shot of the slain. Ooh, Tina's going to get a little extra. But a lot of it went on the table. So she didn't get too much more than me. Oh, that smells good, doesn't it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now. It'll wake you up for sure. I've got all kind of Irish whiskeys. I got patties. I got, uh, I don't know. What do I got, honey? You have patties, quiet man, tealing whiskey, Tomor Dew, and proper 12. We also have Jameson. Now I'm putting more coffee in here. And then the final thing is the most important thing that you have to do. So check out the chat, honey. See if we're missing anybody. There's, There's Grandma, Grandma Joanne. Joanne. Andy said, wouldn't it be easier to get Starbucks and put wild turkey in? <clears throat> wild turkey is not Irish whiskey. It would not, it would be a it would be a bourbon turkey coffee. You could put Starbucks <laughs> and Bailey's. That's yes. close. That's closer. Yep. And Bailey's Irish cream is good. Yes, very good. I love me some Bailey's. <clears throat> but you know what? Life ain't easy, and making good Irish coffee is not easy. So Andy knows life ain't easy. So what you want to do <clears throat> thank you, thanks with all the stuff he's so gone through, um, I need my little. Oh, let me get it. It uh, should be up in that cabinet right there to the right, I think, is where the little. Forgot the little shaker thing because we like to use it to get us. All right, so then you put the little shaker that you can get, and then let's put some heavy cream. So to review real quick. Oh, look how thick that is. You want this to be really uh, very, very cold. So it's been in my outside refrigerator, which gets really cold, almost freezing. You don't want it to freeze, but you want it really, really cold. And then, hello, Daniel. Welcome in, Daniel Stroh. Oh, he said this is definitely my kind of episode, but I can't join because Matt Cox and I have to coach our daughter's bas baseball game in a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it'll be up there. You can watch it later. Yeah, so Sunday, that's fun cool. day. Yeah, y'all have fun with that. Hey, Panjo. Thanks for coming so, in. We're making Irish coffee. Oh, man, that's already getting... I'm going to shake that up. And you can see this. Look how frosty it's getting. <laughs> so, once you warm up your glasses, put some brown sugar in there, then some little bit of coffee, then the shot of Irish whiskey, and then that's getting nice and frosty, and then a little more coffee, and then... Then you're going to pour this right up on top of this, and you're not going to be able to see it too much. I uh, wish we had something to set it up on. I think I grabbed that wooden thing. Hurry up. <laughs> she can, they can see the second one. You want to pour the 
the cream with a spoon so it just goes real light across. And just let that fill up. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. So here's what the, here's what it looks like. You don't want streaks in it. Okay, team. Now you can watch. And now, now you can, you can see, see it. Again, I'm just gonna pour the heavy cream right here, real slow. That one I messed up on. I messed up on this one because I'm at a bad angle. But it's not streaking too bad. It looks pretty good, yeah. actually. It looks pretty good. So there, that, folks, is a proper Irish coffee. Yep. So you know what you got to do next is you got to drink it. That's right. With the Slain whiskey, which I really like. Happy St. Patty's Day. And it's cheap, too. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, man. That slain really gives it a different oh, taste. So good. It's like it's uh, different so from good. your Jameson or Patties or anything like that. <clears throat> um, Andy wants to know, since we have spent numerous vacations together, we have never... You have never made him a fancy coffee. That's because y'all just go to Starbucks. <laughs> well, mm. next time, Andy. We will make fancy coffee. You will you will like this. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And Andy don't like whiskey at all, but so he would he would like this. You would like this. You can't For really sure. taste the whiskey, but it gives us a little little uh ha! <laughs> wait a minute. I like this one better. Don't hurt your rotator cuff with all the shaky. You not. I know. Mm -hmm. You know what? I lifted yesterday, and I'm like, uh, I can barely lift my shoulder. So, and Andy's spot on. <laughs> Daniel says beautiful. He says they're nice. <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> yes, they probably are. <laughs> I'm nice to you. We love you, Andy. They work for tips. I work for tips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is this is really so really good. good. So relaxing. We're looking at our mm. kitchen window into the spring blooms with all mm -hmm. the trees in the way way backyard. Beautiful. Mm. Can't beat it. That is good. Mm -mm. That is good. Thank you all for coming in. I know they yeah. are. But you know what else? This is not a bit Irish, but it's brunch. And right. Tina made us up. Look at that yumminess. Yes, I cooked that, Andy. The eggs and the bacon. I didn't make the bagels, but I did toast mm, them. Mm, mm. See? Oh, and there's the warm and fresh. Mm. Y'all didn't know we were going to make you hungry on wow. this live stream, did you? <laughs> That's a, a Thomas. Thomas Brothers English mm. bagel with eggs and bacon. And it is so good. <laughs> mm. Mm. And he said, that looks delicious. And, and now Lisa is hungry. <laughs> hey, Matthew oh. Cox. There's Matt. Where's he at? Yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. Good to see Matthew always. Man, this is good. Good job, team. I can make some bacon mm. and eggs. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> really good. Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> now she's going to run out, get her some stuff to make some Irish mm, coffee mm, mm. and some American Wow. Egg and bacon bagel. If you're just getting here, you're going to have to watch back mm -hmm. then watch how we make this Irish coffee. Um, it's really good. We're enjoying this one right now. We may do one with a bagel. Yeah, we might do one. Oh. Andy's got corned beef going in the crock pot. That mm. sounds good, too. 
Excellent. Well, we're getting, starting to get some. Uh, we were kind of worried about the live stream because the sun was just it comes beaming in this window. Yeah. So I had to put some shades on the windows. <laughs> but it's beautiful out, out there today. I know. It's like it was mm. really pretty yesterday. Today it's kind of cloudy here, but. And Matthew, have fun. Coaching those girls in basketball. They were dancing last night, and today they're playing basketball. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, <laughs> also on the good news, I went to Kermit High School, and um, when I graduated, it was about oh about. 11 years later, something like that, they consolidated. So now it's Tug Valley High School. And Kermit always had really good basketball teams. And now Tug Valley has really good basketball teams. They got a lot of Kermit players and the other teams from players are from Lenore. So with those two places, Lenore is a pretty decent basketball team too. Well, Tug Valley just won the state championship in West Virginia yesterday. And so I'm pretty proud. And uh, that's pretty daggone awesome. State champs, that was their fourth time since they consolidated so that they won the state championship. So pretty cool. And the last time that Kermit went to the state, uh, I had just graduated college and my first year as a coach as was Kermit Junior High. And I wasn't a very good coach, but I had some really good players. And we struggled, but they learned. I stressed fundamentals the whole time. And by, when those guys got to be juniors and seniors, which was the last year before Kermit consolidated, I think 1989, when those guys – they went to the state uh, tournament and they, they came in second. They finished and uh, got beat in the finals. But that was a really, really good team. And Kermit's always had great, great players. Small school, but a lot of pride. And I'm just proud of yeah. Kermit. Very happy for him. So it's awesome. And Daniel said he likes our little coffee nook. Yeah, well, we enjoy our little coffee bar there. It took you 11 years. I, I think Thank you, you missed part of that story, Andy. So, or I probably didn't tell it right. But anyway. <laughs> He's doing math calculations. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> I graduated in 79. I think they consolidated in 89. 89, 90 was the last year, I think. So you were already coaching. Yeah. And I was graduating I was already, high school. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was coaching in Virginia by that time. But I went back because I had to watch those guys play. They were good. Lisa said they get upset when you miss. She said two years, Andy, but didn't graduate. She goes, they get upset when you miss most of the school year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Andy said he was three years old. Yeah. Thanks, Andy. And life was really good. <laughs> it was great. You weren't three years old in 1989. Well, maybe in 79. Yeah, 79. When, did, when was he born? I guess 76, huh? Yes. Yeah. So. Young and. Mm-hmm. No, he was too young to be your daddy. Oh, my God, Lisa. She was, uh, I would skip school and go to one of the other high schools and hang out with my boyfriend. <laughs> Those were the days, weren't they, Lisa? <laughs> That's hilarious. Mm. 
So, should we make one with hmm? Bailey's? Yeah, do y'all want to see a... And should we put like a shot one? of Dead Rabbit? And then... And then put, put the, the coffee and then put the Bailey's on top. Yeah. Might as well. That's a... Whew. That'll be a double... This stuff will light you up at the end. I think I had a pretty good... Walter can be my daddy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rinse this out. I want to <laughs> use this because it has a handle. We don't have multiple ones of these. So <laughs> to make our other one, I'm going to rinse mine out. I'm Daniel gonna... says he's going to stick a straw through and take a sip. <laughs> He's liking that. Yeah, he probably shouldn't be uh, drinking and coaching. It's not a good combination. Might have to save yours for a little later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I know, Matthew. You've got a day ahead of you. But maybe... You can come home after you're all done and then enjoy one. <laughs> Drunk coaching would be a blast, Andy says, until you're behind bars. <laughs> yeah. All fun and games till then. <laughs> yeah, you got to try this. Now, I'm going to try one that would be more of Andy's speed. What do you think? Oh, yeah. He would. I think Andy, actually, I think Andy would like this. Oh, he would, he would like this. But when you get down to the bottom, it gets more of the, the whiskey flavor. Mm -hmm. So definitely start out slow. And then now where are the other glasses? That... Well, they're over there in the drainer, but I was thinking about rinsing mine out. No. Because I have a handle. No? Okay. Because yeah. you can make it hot again. You All know, right. The... Well, if you rinse it out, then we're going to. It'll take me a while to drink all that. We'll just make them in the clean glasses then. That'll be fine. Need to try. All right. We probably, we're not going to warm this up. We're just going to pour the coffee. Now, here's a simple version. And we're just going to... Instead of doing hot water. Let's hope Tina don't wear this hot coffee. So we're just, let's hope these glasses don't break too. Oh, yeah. What about the brown sugar? We don't have to do that. Oh, okay. Because of the two shots. Well, we. I mean, we could put brown sugar in, but that's not simple. Yeah, that's not. But here. Just make it like you said. And then we're going to put a, this is my absolute favorite with Irish whiskey. The Dead Rabbit. I love this stuff. It's a little little smoky, and it's actually made in New York City. Uh, there's a there's a actually a cafe or something up there. It's the Dead Rabbit. Mm -hmm. And uh, Andy, so, Andy used to drink those at work. It made making. Can you make a rum chata? Nah. We'll leave the rum chatas to PJ. Now I'm just gonna put like maybe half of a. Uh, shot of the of this because the Bailey's has liquor in it and I don't want to get too carried away. So let's get them. Now I don't think this will probably I wonder if we should try to shake it. Watch the chat, honey. I used I to like drink it. those at work. It made pizza more enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said he tried the 1792 single barrel Friday night. It was delicious. Do you have a favorite version of 17? Um, the cast drink that Nathan had. I don't own it. I thought the 1792 is pretty good. Uh, but I think the cast strength is even better and uh but i didn't i didn't uh score that because i don't own it so we're gonna try i'm gonna just see what happens i don't think the bait the bailey's just gonna go yeah in. it's just gonna go that's in. not like it's not a heavy it's not cream heavy whipping cream yeah that's so, the only thing that makes that this looks like milk yeah 
more of the definite consistency of that for sure. Give it a stir. But yeah, give it so, a give it a little stir. A completely different and much more simple, but not authentic. Yeah, not off, not completely not as authentic. historically authentic. right. Uh, authentic, but it's definitely. Um, Thanks everybody Still for coming Irish. in. Yeah. Now, if you, if you, did I stir yours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go back and watch the first one where we did the hot toddy glasses and all that kind of stuff, because that 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 way you can make a real Irish coffee. I'll give this a try. Let's try this. Let's see what it is. It's nice and warm. Mm, that's good. Pretty good. And definitely a different taste than the uh, the one, the Irish coffee with the slang. I mean, mm -mm -mm. similar, but more creamy, <laughs> chocolatey than, than the other one. So, a good choice, too. Hi, Denise. Good to see Denise. Um, hey Denise. Good morning. No, I already gave my sermon to Andy. We gave that late earlier. Uh, exactly, Andy. A big Irish thumbs up. So this is actually pretty tasty. Yeah. And definitely different. Ah. Ooh, that's got with that dead rabbit in there on and then put the uh I mean you can just put the Irish cream in your coffee and that's you could do that but you know another thing I like is the frozen Baileys mm. so that is delicious so if any of you coffee drinkers kind of like um iced coffee or cold coffee which I'm not usually a you know big I don't drink that that much, um, but frozen Baileys, mm -hmm. which you can get at the. Uh, <laughs> That's Catherine's and get it at the link. Um, yeah. Bar O'Shea's. Yes. I think that's where they got it. Yeah. At, so you can try that's that delicious. in the morning. Get your frozen Baileys. Yeah. Catherine had that with in from the midlife ride and with Tamara. From Vegas, best ideas. So they were enjoying that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I've gotten me one or two of those. And Annie says, Simone enjoys the frozen Baileys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She would like these as well, I think. Mm hmm. So. For sure. <laughs> So what I was going to do was, as I'm drinking this, this is by no way as good as the other one. It's not even close. Mm -hmm. Not even. I mean, it's good. I but agree. If you take the time to mm -hmm. make that in the hot toddy glass like we did right here, Tina's still got some left. Mm -hmm. I got some left, and I think I'm going to go get it. Here, move this off. Um, it's definitely um, the better of the two, the first one we made. So if y'all missed that, go back and watch it. Um, oh, yeah. It starts. It, it, it's probably two so minutes good. in. I'm going to drink some more of this. Kind of easy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's just like, like I want another one of these. Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, Simone's working today. Oh. One of the uh, one of the things I was going to discuss on an upcoming live stream. Susan, so uh, <laughs> could I make this in red? <laughs> oh God. What? Well, wouldn't the hot, the heat melt it? No. Maybe use 
You be could styrofoam. Do, you could use styrofoam. Use styrofoam. Or, it's better environmentally too. So use styrofoam. Or yeah. Heavy, <laughs> heavy paper. You know, the heavy paper cups. Yeah. But I wouldn't use plastic that. No. Mm. Wouldn't recommend plastic. No. Well, hello, Amy. Well, How there's are you, Amy. girl? We're making Irish coffees. You missed it. You'll have to go back and watch to see how to make a proper Irish coffee. You want some of this heavy cream in that? Sure. I'm going to finish it off in there. Look at this. Uh, I'll tell you, the, the slain whiskey and the... The slain is, so, is good. The heavy whipping cream just, yeah. it just doesn't compare. I like Bailey's. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah. Oh, that's better with more heavy whipping cream in it. It is. Yeah. So it is. It is. I was saying on an upcoming live stream, I'm going to talk about my 10 favorite or maybe creepiest places I've been. And I was going to give you just a little tidbit of some of the crazy places that I've been uh, and spent the night in haunted hotels and whatever. Well, hi, Miss Crystal, Vegas baby. Hey, Crystal. And Anthony, sneaky Vegas sunrise. Look at Good there. morning. So there's Crystal. Good morning. Just pop in and say, have a lucky day. You too. And <laughs> proud of you for your Yes. 75, I guess you're getting close to 50 now or something. So she's kicking nice. rear in. And that's awesome. Uh, so she's inspired me. I, I worked out yesterday. And then I'll do that again in about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Recovery time. Yeah, I got to recover. So, But now I got to get busy on that. And then let's see what Anthony has to say. He said, you can do anything you want in a red Solo cup, Andy. That's true. Well, yeah. And then you can pay the consequences later. Yeah, it may melt down, but it's okay. But don't. You don't can melt. always, like, get another one. So, so let's start off with, I'm just going to give you a little sampling of some of the, I'm not going to put them in order. I'm just going to randomly. But when I do the next live stream, I'm going to rate, excuse me, the top 10 creepiest places I've ever stayed haunted or and also the coolest so and I'm not going to tell you the order of these but definitely on this list well where's my daggone live stream here we go uh definitely on this list I need to go I need to go down here to present what's this we haven't started yet. What, what's he talking about? Uh, I'll share my screen. Share your screen. And then we want to go to this one. Share. Mm -hmm. Let's make this full screen. Anybody recognize that place? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody recognize that? That is the Clown Motel. And it's just not a very happy place. Now, when you first get there, I'm going to back it up. The what One of the reasons it's so creepy is like all the clowns in here. And I've got the sound turned down. I don't, hopefully y'all can't see. There's clowns everywhere in this lobby. And so you go in there and you just start right away. You get this, unless you just love clowns. I mean, if you love clowns and you like them all dressed up, that's cool. I, don't I mean, know who loves clowns? And, and then, but what makes this place the most haunted is like, I'll show you a little bit more of the, let, let's look at, back it up. Look at these things. There's some crazy stuff. That is a look major at, collection look going on there. Major mm -hmm. collection. But what really makes this place haunted is it's right next to a cemetery. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about that right now at the 
Clown Motel. So there's the motel behind me, and here's the cemetery. And if you've seen my videos, look at that. These a lot of these people died in fires and all that kind of stuff. So that's one of them. I'm not going to keep going on and on about it because uh, I want to. We'll do more in depth on an upcoming live stream, and you can see some of these places back here this is where kate died back in the back here amy loved watching bozo when she was young does that count yeah <laughs> it counts amy Apparently. and so now i'm going to go into the room if i'd like to see amy stay there oh gosh amy wouldn't spend the night that is a, i couldn't go to sleep hardly in this place so my room is up here. Let's see. Yeah, I left the door open. So no, that's something else. Yeah, mine was on the very end. So I'm walking down towards that. And this is in Tonopah, Nevada. And I go in this door and here's the room. And right there, look, look at that. I mean, I actually had to sleep. I had to sleep facing the other way all night because I didn't want to roll over and look at that clown. So anyway, that was one of the uh, craziest, creepiest places that I've ever stayed. And I'm not, I was not with him. He was all by himself. Yeah, so. that did make it worse. Yeah. Uh, was that bed aboard? Um uh, Bill Coleman. No, it was the bed was actually pretty comfortable. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Bill, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. We made Irish coffees and had egg and bacon bagels. Mm hmm So what more could you want in a day? And all this is brought to you also by Derek and Cindy because they gave me these I was talking to him about some of the stomach problems I had, and they sent me some of these pills, like these, I don't know what it's called. Natural, Natural um, supplements. Supplements for your digestive system. So we'll see how that works. He's giving them a whirl. <laughs> Tina was probably hoping something would carry me off or <laughs> give me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, goodness. So. She Not sent me off into the wild blue yonder. Uh, but Tina made these. Also, if, you, if you're just now getting here, you want to go back. Watch us making the the Irish whiskey. Yeah. The, if you like whiskey proper. and mm. if you like any kind of Irish whiskey, I mean, I don't know who has tried what, but um, mm -hmm. it is delicious with Irish or to make an Irish coffee. Mm -hmm. And the first one was definitely best. We, we mixed a little Bailey's for the second one. Um, not as good for me. Just, just, I don't know. I guess it's something about the brown sugar and the heavy whipping cream and the Irish slain whiskey that we used <clears throat> right. for that, right. which is one of our favorite, I think Irish whiskeys. So makes a difference. All right, now I'm going to give you, um, <laughs> and then I just realized this place that, that I'm at right here is the San Jose Hotel in Tombstone, Arizona. It does have a little TV. This was probably the scariest experience in a little table. Any place. Right here. Uh, I don't know if it'll be number one. Not that this is a pretty but, sight, but. It was definitely different, and you'll have to wait. You can just look around this. It's like a little apartment building, and this was actually the room, the actual room where Doc Holliday stayed when he was in Tombstone. So that's kind of like creepy in a way. Of course, Doc Holliday did not 
passed away here, but he just, this is where he stayed, and Big Nose, Big Nose Kate was with him. So I'm just showing you around the place. And I love that bathroom. And that night, I heard a big giant thud, like thud, coming from what I thought was like maybe the bathroom door slamming and some other stuff like that. Now, then I'm walking into the bedroom. Let's go into the bedroom. Here's the bedroom. And very kind of small, but she's got a little doorway right here. Um, the bed coverings. And I did not sleep well. There was several things that happened that night that was just a little, little scary. Um, and again, I was by myself. And but that's it. This is the uh, San Jose Hotel in Tombstone. It's the oldest lodge in Tombstone. And then. You know, big then I walk this. I think I left and walked the streets. Maybe no, I think I just tell the story. So that's a really cool video, but it'll freak you out. Andy says Bucksport, Maine, is the most haunted town in Maine. It was fun to learn about all the crazy stuff that happened there. It is very interesting when you visit these places and yes, you find out the history. Yes, and it then is. that just makes you know. Everything. Even more I tried to get Andy to take me to Bucksport, but he said he didn't want to go there. He was so scared. He must have been scared. He's also scared of lobsters and banana pudding. <laughs> and crinkle cut fries. He's scared of those. He's scared of a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, we are in our kitchen. Because yep. we made Irish coffee. So we wanted to be near the coffee accessories. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the whipping cream accessories. Bill would enjoy this. Yeah. Bill, you would have really enjoyed. So watch back and watch us make that Irish coffee. Yeah, that first Irish coffee that we made. Mm, delicious. Then we made right. a second one. Just kind of mix some Baileys with no. coffee. Not the same. No, I didn't forget Andy because we went to we went across the bridge, right. went to Fort Knox, and then we went across the bridge. And I kept saying, "I want to go to Bucksport. I'm over there." Oh, there's nothing there. You don't want to see nothing there. And that's so we didn't go. <laughs> Man, Andy's the boss. Fort Knox was cool though. Fort Knox is cool, and that was really cool. Yeah, and the whole trip was great. Like you could feel, mm. like, what is it? Spirit, the heaviness, mm -hmm. the yeah, the whole time, yeah. Just if you concentrate <laughs> and like, uh, you could just feel it. Bill's want to know where his coffee is, dude. <sighs> it's right here, Bill. It's right here in the pot. We'll save it for you, and and we can put with or without the Irish whiskey. <laughs> it's and really said, I was afraid you would Irish. melt in the rain because you were so sweet. <laughs> This is true. This is true. That was a good day. I, yes, it was awesome. That was I was happy the whole day. I, I was like just so happy to be in it. The okay. only weird thing that happened was, and we kept watching the video of that Fort Knox of this we thought was a shadow figure. We could not figure it out. And we were thinking, okay, it must be Andy. But then we're watching back. Andy was at the other end of the hall. Yeah. Like, and it was a long yeah. haul. Andy was way down there. And so in this shadow, we're like, what the heck is that? So, so it's like yeah. something was walking around with us or That's still something. It was a creepy place, but it's really cool. And that it, still has not been debunked. No, it has So he was too far away to make that shadow. Yeah. But me and Andy, I mean, me and Simone and Tina was looking at that thing over and over mm -hmm. and over again. And Andy, I think he was fighting some, like, British soldiers that were coming over or something. I, don't know. I think he was. Getting the cannons ready and stuff like that. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, as he said, he still hadn't figured it out. He said he watched it over. I can't, it was yeah. weird. It was very weird. So, I don't know. Had you been closer? Uh, yeah. You know, because you were ahead of all of us. Mm -hmm. Had you been closer, then we would have said it had to be somehow, you know, reflective of that. Right. But, 
you weren't. You were right. way far away. You don't cast a shadow that far away. Mm -hmm. So. But that was a great trip. Mm -hmm. One of the best ever. One of my favorites. Man, we ate. Ever. We ate good food. Yes. Everything. Beautiful sights. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now, so that's two of the places. Should I show you one more? Andy casts shadows wherever he goes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to end this here in just a minute. Uh, we just wanted to go for about an hour, say happy St. Patrick's Day. Yep. Make an Irish coffee. We've made two. Getting over the second one with the Baileys is okay. Yeah, it's okay. Not my favorite though. I'm gonna go with number one. Yeah. The true blue mm. homemade Irish coffee with slain Irish whiskey. Yeah, you gotta watch that. So mm. it's still delicious. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna have another one of those. <laughs> Bill says he has. To stay at home since I have nothing green to wear. <laughs> yeah, you. If you're like me, I can't take more pinches on the butt because I ain't, I don't have a butt. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> I'll pinch you on. That. Could you mix the Baileys and yeah, I think that would be good too. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, I think it would be fine. Yeah, but I, I mean, you can mix the Baileys with anything, but. Mm -hmm. To me, Bailey's needs to be mixed with coffee. I think that creamer is what does it. Yeah, without the... Uh, <clears throat> I mean, you could put the heavy whip on yeah. top of it just to make it um, better. And the slain might taste better than... Like, this really is really for sipping. Because it's a little smoky. Like, if you... Let's see. It's a little smoky. Yeah, it is. And uh, where... Kind of like the like scotch. That. So, that might have been... You know, but the slang is just very. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he, he says he's wearing something green that he found in Simone's drawer. <laughs> You're the silliest. Oh, my goodness. I, there. Yeah. This to me is very underrated because so, it's so only sad. like usually like 23, maybe 25 bucks. <laughs> Anthony says, Does he does Simone know about your alone time hobby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Anthony. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. He is spending too much time alone now. He probably needs to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Hush, Anthony. I feel good, and that's what's important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no judgment here. That's right. That's no right. judgment here. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. We'll check on you later, Andy. Scott's much, laughing. much later. See, we miss Andy coming into the stream and yes. completely wrecking it and sending it in the, the downward spiral. This, and... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another key, I think, not to change the downward spiral of mm -hmm. Andy coming into the chat conversation. However, another thing with the Irish coffee, again, if you missed it, go back and watch it, is the brown sugar. Brown I sugar. think that that, that makes is everything also nice. key. Oh, yeah. We had none of that in the second one, just the Baileys uh, and the Dead Rabbit. Man, that's like some, um, that brown sugar is like So that. the authentic Irish coffee, in my opinion, is the way to go. And it's not that hard. Yeah. You just have it to is. have a couple ingredients. It really is. That's it. So, all right, guys. Thank y'all. Have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. We're out of here, and I'm going to see if Tina can cook something else. No, I'm not cooking anything else today. That was it. One and done. Now, I might be productive at something else. I might get a few chores done. I might not. That remains to be seen. You know, after Irish coffee, it will either motivate me or it will not. I don't know. Thanks for coming in, Lisa. You were the first one in. Thank, Thank you, Lisa. Anthony. Andy, you know what? We have some chocolate Baileys, too. Oh, yeah. 
that you might like that. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. And Sneaky say, wait a second. This is over. You can go back and watch. Because <laughs> you got in a little late. We understand. Have a good day, Terry. Hey, t thanks for coming in, Terry. Yes, thank we'll, you. We're going to meet sometime. I know it's early for a lot of you guys, and yeah. we appreciate you stopping and by. This I want to meet Denise. Yeah, I mean, I really want to meet Denise. She seemed yeah. like the sweetest Never person I've ever Dr. met, Peter. besides Simone. And that, they're like twins. So Simone, they are. They're so like that, sisters. Yep. Sisters from a different Mister. And he says, "Till next time." So have a good time. And Andy, go live. Yeah, Andy, go live right now. Go live right now and, and uh, make an Irish coffee. Yeah, yeah, make yeah, some, have to have Irish whiskey. Make some drink. We're not this, you know, we had basically a shot and a half. So we're, we're I didn't want to drink too much today because we got to work. Yes, I, I got a job for about is it four more weeks? I guess four more weeks, yeah, I think. Like so, and then I'm done for the year. I only work three months a year. Well, two and a half months a year. Yes. And it's a grueling long process. That's no, three and a half. Yeah. Three and a half? January, February, February, March, March April. And a half. Three and a half. Oh, you don't half work in January. January? Okay. Like half of January. All right. There's Dice. He just got Dice. here. Dice. Hello. Good morning. Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> Have a great day, Bill. Dice. Love you, brother. Bourbon Brothers for Lysic. Life, except we're having Irish whiskey today. Yeah, a little bit of Irish whiskey twist. So if you missed it, go back. So our our first Irish cream coffee thumbs up. was awesome. Go back and leave a comment. Just yes. anything. Just just say, hey, great. No, I don't like Irish whiskey. Uh, tell Andy to stay away. Anything you yeah. want. Whatever. <laughs> Yes, please leave a comment. Let us know yeah. what you thought. And and did you like this morning stream? I don't know if it's for everybody, but yeah. And there's Ronnie. It would be a good idea. Thanks for coming in, Ronnie. I always appreciate your support. And you said I heard that walk. Oh, I thought you left. I'm Oops. sorry. Oops. Oh, sorry. And Sneaky Vegas Sunrise. He's yes. been here for man supporting for a long time. Him and and uh, Christina both. Scott and Matthew, and all my, yeah, all my uh, YouTube C. and Patreon members, and a lot of them are both. And we, gosh, we appreciate y'all so much. Yes, yes, so. we do. And he says, "I'm trying to leave it. You, you won't let us." Yeah, no, there. <laughs> well, I'm just saying all my goodbyes. Yes, all goodbyes. All right, so uh, we're gonna, we're actually gonna leave. It's, it's uh, been 52 minutes. And I'm not drinking any more whiskey. So we got the rest of the day to go. To love you guys. Yep. And always keep, keep it, it squatchy. squatchy. See ya. Happy St. Patty's Day.